Guys, I'm so excited. I'm wearing a t-shirt today. No, there's still snow outside. I don't care. It's April. And we're gonna be trying out some TikTok desserts, which was actually a recommendation from you guys. And I saw that comment and I was like, well, yeah, why haven't we done that yet? When we tried out the recipes from the last TikTok video, I feel like they were all really good, except for that egg sandwich. I still can't get on board with that. I'm sorry. I thought it smelled like French toast. Taste test. Mm, it looks good. Mm. You like it? Yeah. Really? But the grapes one was really good. The Delgona coffee one. So if you like desserts, if you enjoy baking, TikTok, all of the above, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any other recipes that you guys want me to try off TikTok or Instagram, YouTube. And yes, let's get started with a cookie recipe because we're, we're cookie monsters here. And this is a recipe for Oreo cheesecake cookies, which I think was like an interesting mishmash, like a mashup there. I don't know how I feel about Oreo cheesecake and cookies, like combined, but it had five ingredients and it seemed really easy. And I got so many DMs from you guys to try it out. And I was like, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it today. And it actually worked out really well because I had so many Oreos from last Saturday's video. I still have them. They're all right here. Ta -da. This is dark chocolate. I ate like a really good three of them last night. Don't have a lot of the dark chocolate and thins though, but yes. Let's get started with Francesca. I must go find her. Franny? Francesca? Why do I never remember where she is? Francesca! Oh, found her. Oh, come here, lady. Oh, you got some stuff on you. Gotta clean you off first. Quick snack break for the small babies and for Mama. Okay, she mean, she clean. She's not actually mean. I feel like she's mostly clean. A speck right here still. It's driving crazy. Oh, and there's all this stuff down here. Oh my gosh, what were you doing, Francesca? So, cookies. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the paddle attachment. Can't forget that. Kind of importante. Okay, now we are going to add in eight ounces of softened cream cheese, and then two sticks of softened butter, which is equivalent to one cup, and then one and a half cups of granulated sugar. Boom. Now I'm just gonna mix this together. Amazing. Now I'm going to slowly add in two, two cups of flour. Just a little bit at a time, people. Ooh, that flour is gonna go everywhere. Banana me dough. Don't overmix your flour, people. It makes your cookies very tough. No one likes tough cookies. Unless maybe you are a tough cookie. And then the last little bit. Boom. Mix, 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 mix. All right, mix enough. Now we go on to the Oreos. We need to add to the Oreo cheesecake cookie. Or I guess this is flipped backwards, the Oreo cheesecake cookie. <laughs> so these are 20 double stuffed cookies. Okay, I lied, it's, it's 15 double stuffed cookies and five of the regular cookies. I didn't eat them because double stuffed are gross. The ratio is off, there's too much filling. I also don't know what happened to this one. So now I'm just going to crumble up all of these Oreos. In fact, I'm just going to, sorry, excuse me, Francesca, excuse me. I'm gonna crush them up with a fork, which is what they did in the video. I don't know why you wouldn't just use your hands, but we're gonna try this method. I don't know, maybe it's better. And basically you just wanna get little pieces that are like big enough to have kind of that nice Oreo taste in a cookie, not so ground up that it's just powder, but you don't want like half an Oreo in a cookie. I mean, maybe you do. I mean, that is technically a cookie anyway. It's just sliding the top, the top cookie off of the icing. No, this is stupid. Washing hands. Now we will crush them. And I feel like this would have been easier and less messy had I just put these in the fridge first. I feel like then the icing would be like smooshing out everywhere because they're double stuffed. You see how like all of the icing is like oozing out? It's wrong ratio, guys, I'm sorry. Like, to be honest, I would just eat the cookie alone. And I have done so, which is why it worked really well with my sister because she would eat the icing and I would eat the cookie. It's a great match. Get yourself someone. Keep finding random Oreos in here that <laughs> haven't been broken up yet. I'm like, great, I did it all. Oh, what do you guys think? Have you tried these before? Comment below if you think these are gonna be good or how would you change them to make them better? I think these would be really good with the dark chocolate Oreos. Have you guys tried those yet? If you have not, 
so highly recommend them. The icing does not taste like normal Oreo icing. It's like a thousand times better. I'm just breaking up Oreos. This would be just really fun to do all day, actually. I feel like this would also be a really fun task if you were baking with like little kids because um, they would love to like break these up. Also eat them all. You gotta be extra vigilant with the small ones. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Ugh, so long and forever taking. You know what I should have done? I should have put them in a bag and then smashed them with a hammer. Probably would have been faster. No, actually I forgot that I hate that <laughs> hack. It's the worst. It just makes crumbs. It doesn't break them up evenly. Especially when you're a perfectionist. It could be individual little chunks. Just be the right size, you know? Giant chunk here. I will never be done this. And I just like, Arr! this feels good. And also I'm bored with doing this. That's how you know you're done. So we're gonna dump all these in here and then just mix to combine. Okay, this feels sufficiently mixed. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this Stick it in the fridge for half an hour, which I recommend anyway. Great way to make sure that the, all the ingredients kind of meld together. It makes a better cookie. And then we're going to bake them. I'm excited. Okay, come on. Get off of there. All right, into the fridge. I think I just got Oreo all over myself. I'm going to be covered in Oreo by the time this video is done. All right, timer is set for 30 minutes. And now let's go on to the next recipe, which is super, super popular. And to be honest, I wanted to make it because it looked so freaking good. There are some recipes on TikTok and I'm like, mm, well, would that be good though? Which don't worry, we are trying one of those. The recipe is actually from a cookbook by Thomas Keller called Ad Hoc at Home. And the TikToker, his name, or I guess his, his handle was That Dude Can Cook. So um, I'm gonna make that recipe today. So in here we have three quarter cup of flour as well as a cup of cocoa powder. You wanna sift that, add in a teaspoon of kosher salt, and then whisk it together. So I've done all of that. And by I, I mean Chris. And we are going to whisk it. Whisk very slowly so I don't get it all over myself. Could I put this in a bigger bowl? I could. Am I gonna do that though? No. All right, that looks done. Set that off to the side and now go on to the butter sludge. That's what I call it because that's what it looks like in the video. So this right here is three sticks of butter. So one and a half cups of butter. Divide it in half. This gets melted in a saucepan and then poured over top of the cold butter to create this like sludgy mixture. It's not fully melted. It's not cold and like whipped together. It's just kind of soupy. It's the best way, it's soupy. I was gonna bring you over with me, but like no one needs to watch me melt butter. That's not interesting. So I put the cold butter into a bigger bowl so I don't burn myself. This butter has just melted. You don't wanna like let it boil and I'm going to Pour it over top. Oh, but it's so great. I'm just gonna kind of mix this together until it forms that thing that the guy had. I regret choosing a spoon for this. All the butter keeps slipping away and spilling all over me. Nope, just kidding. Just the counter. So we'll just sit here and whisk it together then. Sludge it up, sludge it up. Oh, I'm getting so annoyed. I'm getting a fork. No problem, I love doing dishes. Oh, that's so much better. All right, I got my kind of like sludgy mixture going now. So this is part three of this recipe that has like these incremental stages to it. This is, I guess, stage three. And this is where we're going to beat together three eggs. And I think it's, is it two cups of sugar? How much is it? Sorry, one and three quarter cup of sugar. Love these measurements, by the way. Like I know in baking, you have to be very precise. I just, can you imagine sitting down and being like, is it two cups? No, that's too much. Cup and a half, mm, not enough. Cup and three quarter, yes, that is it, my friends. I'm gonna crack in three eggs and I'm gonna whisk those three eggs with the one and three quarter cup of sugar for three minutes. This is important, three, not two, not four. If Thomas Keller tells me to beat the eggs for three minutes, I will beat them for three minutes. I'm pretty sure he's the guy that designed all the kitchen scenes in Ratatouille, so. She's so fluffy. Look at this floof. I don't have a dog for TikTok, so this is my floofster. She's very floofy. All right, okay, I'm excited. I don't know why I took out the, I don't know why I took out the little mixing bar thing. Whisk, mixing bar thing. My brain is gone, everyone. So now what we're gonna do 
is we are going to beat in, actually I need a teaspoon of vanilla, and then we're gonna be going back and forth between the dry ingredients and the butter. And you wanna make sure that you beat the ingredients until it's combined into the batter before you go on to the next ingredient, whether it's wet or dry, because otherwise it's gonna form all these like chunks. It's just, it's not gonna be a good look. Trust me on this, it'll make it better. I just need a teaspoon. And my teaspoon are. All right, I have all my ingredients ready to go. And we're just gonna add in a, ooh! Cookies are ready. Not like ready, ready, but I can take them out of the fridge now. Add in a teaspoon of vanilla. And it says a teaspoon of vanilla and then a third of the dry ingredients and then beet. But like, I'm just going to give this a quick little whisk. Perfect. So, third of the dry ingredients. That's about a third. I don't know. And we beat it together. Stop. Third of the butter ingredients the butter ingredients. You know, the ingredients with the butter, which is butter. It's like this kind of, this stuff right here. So soupy. Mix again. And we're just gonna go back and forth until this is done. Look at that batter though, guys. <gasps> I'm just gonna take a second and scrape down the sides so I can get all of that, that powder incorporated in. Batter is ready, ooh, except for the chocolate because there wasn't enough chocolate in here. We need more. So I'm just going to roughly chop in around six ounces of the chocolate. And I say roughly because, you know, I, I can't be certain that there won't be some that I have eaten before it goes in. All right, now we're going to add it to the batter. Feel good about this. I feel good about this. Feel better about this than the last. <laughs> Just notice I got butter all over the side. <laughs> good job, Rachel. All right, that looks mixed and ready for the oven. Look at that batter, though. Ooh, it's like a sea of chocolate. Bake up nice for me. Goodbye. Now for the cookies. They had very specific instructions to scoop it with an ice cream scoop and then not just like plop it on, but like flatten. And she used one of these ones. I have both kinds because apparently I really like ice cream, but we're gonna use this one because that's what she used. So we're gonna get a good amount. That looks good. Maybe too much? We're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm actually gonna cook the cookies in this new device that I've been testing. It's this guy. The Brava. We've done like roast chickens and um, veggies and fries and all sorts of kind of stuff. And preheat. The company very nicely sent it to us to test out and I saw it online and was like, yeah, I want to test that. Ooh, that's really big. That's a lot of cookie dough. I don't feel good about this. I mean, I always feel good about a lot of cookie dough, but I want these to bake properly. Bye cookies. See you in 13. All right guys, we are in a good spot right now. Cookies, cooling. Brownies, cooling. Next dessert, ready in like under a minute. And this dessert was by far the most popular one that you guys wanted me to try. And it's the Oreo mug cake. I don't know if I want to call it that. It's like mush that you microwave. Basically, you take four Oreos. You can also use like um, chocolate chip, you know, like the Chippets, Cookie Chips Ahoy cookies. But you take the four cookies of whatever kind you have and you put milk on them. And then you mush it together so it's like a soggy cookie paste. And then you microwave it for 40 seconds and voila, mug cake. So what I'm kind of excited to try out with this particular recipe is to see if this mix is as good as an Oreo, if it's better than an Oreo, if it just destroys an Oreo. It doesn't have like a recipe on like how much. So I'm gonna start with that. It doesn't cover fully the Oreo. It's just like a little bit at the bottom and I'm gonna mush it until it looks kind of pasty. Mush, 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 mush. It feels really wrong on so many levels. You can see it's becoming sort of this like weird liquid. Okay, this is looking a little soupy. I don't think theirs was that soupy. I need to check. I think guys, I'm gonna add in another Oreo because it's just, it looks a little too liquidy. All right, that looks a little better to me. It looks more, batter like not quite as thick but it's also not like runny like milk basically like chocolate milk but let's stick this in the microwave for 40 seconds and see what happens so we'll wait for this to finish and then we will taste test all three. Oh, look at that we're done all right let's see what this looks like oh 
It's still soup. So I'll wait for that to finish and then I'll grab Chris and we will taste test all of them at once. I don't know what it is, but we always manage to taste test all of the desserts like right before dinner. I like that you just show up for the taste testing portion. I'm very helpful. <laughs> Happy. I have the best job. So we have three different TikTok desserts here. Mm -hmm. We have mug cake with Oreos. We have, or there's a lot of Oreos today. Oreo cheesecake cookies, mm -hmm. and then brownies. Should we start at this end and work our way down sure. or the other way? Yeah. This is the inside of the Oreo mug cake and what it looks like. It was just, it still looks pretty soft, but it seems to have formed a cake-like batter. So that's good. This is five Oreos. This doesn't look like a lot. So I want to know if this is better than or worse than eating just five Oreos. And some milk. <laughs> and some milk, yeah. This looks kind of like a cake. It does look In very cakey. Like, yeah. I always do this and it never wants to focus on it, but like, it does look very moist mm -hmm. and cakey. Mm -hmm. I'm into that. And TikTok has not steered us wrong thus far. No, actually, all of the ones in the last video were good. They were really good. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. That was not the texture that I was expecting. It was kind of cakey, but also kind of soggy. I felt like I did not add a lot of milk to it and I added an extra Oreo. Saying that, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not the worst thing I've had, it, to be honest. It's kind of just chocolate flavored sludge. You know what? This is the best mug cake I've ever had. That is absolutely true. Well, it, it truly is. Yeah. This is like, I would eat this again. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd make it again, but I also have a lot of so, cake goods. So if I make it again, <laughs> yeah. then you'd eat it. Mm. This would be better with icing though, like a frosting. I'm just saying. When you put it that way, like relative to other mug cakes we've tried, this is great. Like I would recommend it as a mug cake. Yes. You don't do the other ones though. The other ones are really bad. This one's good. Most of them have been really bad. They've yeah. been terrible. Yeah. Mug cakes are bad. They also did ones with chippets, like the chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. And that would be like a similar sort of cake-like vibe. I bet that would also work. That'd be a good try. Yeah. I liked it. It was not that bad. So this one has five different ingredients. It has sugar, flour, Oreo, cheese, cream cheese, and salt in here. Butter? Butter. That's what it is. These, she says, are hands down the best cookies you will ever make. And I saw that. Claim. I know. <laughs> On TikTok. Which one? Well, I want the ones, I mean, they kind of got all golden on the outside, mm -hmm. but I want them with the lots of chunks of the Oreo, mm -hmm. but I don't want a lot of like the filling part of the Oreo. You might be overthinking this. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not what I do. I say this one. Good, I wanted this one. <laughs> all right, hold on, we have to see. It's like cakey a little. Mm -hmm. I want to say like less uh, like a chocolate chip cookie. It smells very cheesecakey. Yeah, it does. I'm not getting a lot of cheesecake flavor. You get the Oreos because they're Oreo cookies. They're like in right there. there. But it's kind of Oreo cookie in a dough suspension. There's a real sugar cookie vibe to them. Oh. Are you getting that? Yeah. Right? Wait, hold on. I'm just trying to see if that's like the outside of it. Mm-hmm. They just taste like sugar cookies with some Oreo mixed in. Now, I mean, like, functionally, they're the same ingredients, so that makes sense, but I'm just missing a lot of the cheesecake. It's almost like shortbread. Interesting. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's like a sugar cookie shortbread yeah. kind of situation with Oreo in it. But where did the cream cheese go? It's in there, I promise. Like, I would not make these again. But it isn't bad. So relative to mug cake, that was a great mug cake. Relative to the best cookies you've ever had, these are nowhere near. Mm. But they're not bad. I wouldn't go out of my way to make these again. Like I would have one and be like, that's interesting. If I had given you one of these cookies and had not told you any of the ingredients in it, you got Oreo. Could you get anything else? Could you figure out what this is? An Oreo sugar cookie. No, I would eat these around Christmas time. Decorated with some frosting for the kids yeah. or something like that. That could work, yeah. That's how I would eat them. But like, they're not anywhere near my cookies. No. But I eat a lot of cookies, so you I have cookies. to be harsh. <laughs> and then lastly is the brownie. This is a recipe actually, technically by Thomas Keller. 
and showed up. And brownie. <laughs> showed up on TikTok. How would he feel about that? How would Thomas Keller feel about being viral on TikTok? I don't know. Thomas, Let's find I know out. you're watching. We got the crispy outside. You like the inside of the brownie though, don't you? Yes. No, oh, outside's where it's at. It's okay, I will take this corner and you can take more of them. Do you want like a full middle? No, I'll suffer through it. You'll be okay it. with it? All right. Oh, yours broke, I'm sorry. It is very cake-like. Smells real good. Ooh. Oh yeah, I forgot he did that. Put that on the top. Pretty fancy. It's snowing <laughs> in real life too, actually. <laughs> Looks good. Smells good. Very cake-like though. Do you prefer a cakey brownie or a no, fudgy? My preference is moist fudgy brownie. I, like I can appreciate a well-done cakey brownie though. Okay, well, let's try it. I ate the outside. Kind of like the crispiness of the outside. I'm gonna try the fudgy inside though. I got a chunk of uh, chopped up chocolate in my mm -hmm. it was pleasant. Mm -hmm. It's very cake-like. It is certainly one of the best cake-like brownies that I've had. Mm -hmm. The flavor is good. I mean, it's a nice, brownie, but it is quite cake-like. It's very like, here, I'm gonna hold this up. It's very like crumbly. It's, it's kind of falls apart in that cake-like way. I really like the um, chocolate chunks in it. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. I kind of want to put icing on this. It just makes everything better. So what's your favorite? Boy, that's a tough one. Really think about it. Well, cause the brownies and the cookies were not the best versions of themselves, right? These are, mm -hmm far from the best brownies I've ever had. The cookies are nowhere close. That's the best mug cake I've ever had. I am most impressed with the mug cake. It was the least delicious, objectively, but it worked well. Would you make any of these again? If I knew someone who really liked cakey brownies and I was baking for them, then I would use that recipe again, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't make it for myself. Would you make the mug cake if you were 12 and not allowed to bake? Yeah, absolutely. Like that's. See, if I saw that on TikTok and I was 12, yeah. I'd be like, yes, 100%, I'm making it. Well, and the other thing is, it's quarantine time. Rules don't apply. Well, and flour is, you know, hard to come by. If you're really hankering for cake and you can't get flour, it works. Oreos, that's where it's at. Thank you for your assistance. Oh, anytime. <laughs> and testing things out. Yeah. You keep eating brownies. No quick for watching. If you guys have any other recipes, that you would like us to test out, leave it in the comments below. This is very crumbly. Oh, it's so like crumbly. Like I'm trying to gather crumbs <laughs> to make a bite. I know, I have a bunch on my plate and it keeps like falling apart on me. But thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. New videos here every Saturday. We do a lot of baking. I do a lot of eating. <laughs> if you wanna see Christopher eat stuff and I make it, Come back to the channel. And uh, yeah, that's everything. I hope you guys are having a good weekend and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah. Now I'm not hungry for dinner. <laughs>